Hey everyone, St <coughs> Steve from the forums. Um, bear with me, I'm a little sick today. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick video here on this heater that I bought from eBay. So, the reason I bought this heater is because my little Honda Insight, as fuel efficient as it is, uh, burns so little fuel that my car, even with a block heater and the warm air intake, it's still... Um, the engine barely stays at operating temperature so by buying an electric heater I'm hoping to use the uh, the heat in the car as minimal as possible and uh, primarily use this little guy to heat it up so this model that I bought here <coughs> is the S12 5000 now this is rated at about 10,000 BTUs uh, which is pretty powerful for an, a little electric uh, heater now you can tell this is like very small like I'm just gonna put my iPhone case there give you an idea like it's pretty much the width of it and the length height you can see as well so that's that <coughs> so bear <coughs> sorry bear with me alright so the heater has a little toggle switch on the side so it's basically set to show, um, it basically gives you a high setting off and then low setting, or vice versa, I'm not sure it's way it goes. Now the elements in this heater are not typical elements you'd find in like a, a traditional, you know, $20 heater you got at the store. These, this has like these little glass infrared heaters, or coils I should say. Uh, they look really cool when they're lit up, but there's four of them. So the low setting, basically these two turn on. And then on the high setting, all four turn on to uh, produce heat. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my multimeter hooked up here. This is a high motion Toyota Prius battery pack. Uh, I kept two of them uh, when I back in the day when I bought them uh, off somebody. Uh, so this is about 11P 4S. So it's about 13.2 for voltage right now. This battery's been sitting at 50% state of charge for a couple years now. Um, haven't charged it, it's still 50%, so the, they're about 3.3 3, 3 volts a cell. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do a current discharge. Or not really a discharge, but I'm going to just show you what the uh, the amper on this, this little monster is. Um, so I've put the, the meter leads on the edge of the, uh, the clamps there. Not the best connection here, I know, but just for now it'll do. If it gets hot, I'm going to disconnect it. So my meter leads are connected, as I said, on the edge there. And then I have my amp clamp in there as well. So we'll focus on the amp. So I'll start off on the low setting. Let's see what it comes in at. It's probably about 34 amps. There's my voltage, it's dropping a little bit. So fairly warm, I mean it's not anything crazy on the low setting, but it is an electric heater and electric heaters are not the greatest for really much. So right now 34 volts, sorry 34, amps times 12.4 whatever the calculation is there it's probably running in the I would say in about the 300, 300 amp, uh, watt range I should say it looks like it's holding steady at 34 amps battery voltage is dropping slowly but not much that negative terminal is pretty hot the positive terminal isn't. That's pretty interesting. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to crank it on high before I start melting wires. <clears throat> These are 10 gauge turnage wires. The proper connector here. I soldered the ends there to make sure that we get good contact. Alright, I just want to do a couple quick checks. 
Yeah, I better hook it up before it starts melting everything. So still hurting 33. Well, that is a monster. That's pulling 60 amps. Still holding 12 volts. Okay, I don't want to hold it too long because. Yeah, look at all those elements. That looks crazy. Wicked. Now it's it's really it's pretty much getting really hot right now. That like that is gonna burn my hand. 60 amps, so I'm gonna ease off it a bit. So it'll drop back to 33. Ooh, those are hot. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. I mean. This thing's a little monster. So yeah, 10,000 BT rated. <clears throat> uh, what else can I show you? So it's just got a brushless computer fan. Like, the thing's nothing fancy. This cost me, this ran me about $200, believe it or not. Uh, it's pretty expensive. This is used for uh, heating, like, um, I think like a, a UTV or like a, a small trailer kind of thing like that can't remember exactly it's I think it's like a marine heater I don't know exactly what the use is but uh, this is the most powerful one you can get so 600 watt up to 600 watt basically or as you just that saw there like 60 amps at I think it was like holding just about just over just about 12 so yeah that's pretty much it I uh, hope you enjoy the video as usual and uh until next time. Thanks.